everybody so this is Safira here coming out with another recipe and this is the authentic Goan recipe which is called the Goan Sambarachi Kori now for this recipe I have already made the powder of this masala I dry roasted all of them and, and made a powder and I've kept it ready to prepare now for this recipe please check the description link below and then you can get the recipe there for this lovely recipe very very aromatic recipe I have taken two large coconuts and I will be taking out the milk of these coconuts now here are the ingredients that I use the most important one is a dry prawns which uh, are about half a cup a little bit of tamarind which I soaked some prawns that is the fresh prawns normally uh, it's optional but I'm using these fresh prawns the most important in ingredient in this recipe is the dry mango so normally we use the seed of the dry mangoes and a little bit of these uh, slices which are dried but I don't have the seed so I'm using the uh, dry mango five to six uh, green chopped chilies three onions uh, chopped two sprigs of curry, uh, curry pata that is the curry leaves so now let's begin the recipe by first grinding and taking out the juice of these of the coconut now I'm going to add in some hot water into the mixer and I'm going to grind this into into a little coarse paste not not fine paste and then uh, take off the milk from this coconut in the meantime I'm going to take about uh, three to four tablespoons of this powder and I'm going to mix it in some water and keep it ready for the curry preparation so I've taken about four tablespoons I have added in some water and I'm going to mix this well I have mixed it well in water and I'm kept it ready for the preparation in the meantime I will uh, add some oil into uh, the pot and start frying my onions and the green chilies I've added uh, about four tablespoons of oil into the pot and now I'm going to fry the onions adding in the chilies and I'm going to fry these till they're golden brown in the meantime I'm going to go and take off the juice of the coconut I've taken the strainer here and I've kept it ready and I'm going to pour this and take off the juice of this coconut So I've already taken the first set of juice of this coconut and I've kept it uh, into this vessel and I'm going to take the second juice but this I'm going to keep it separately. The second juice will be utilized first and the, and the pure juice will be utilized later. Now I'm going to take out the second extract of this coconut and um, I'm going to add in some hot water again. and and then prepare the curry so I put it in the mixer and then I'm going to grind this into coarse paste and take off the juice of this the second juice this is the second one the second extract is ready so this is the first one and this is the second one now the onion is getting fried together with the chilies so I'm going to add the curry patta that is the curry leaves and I'm going to fry it together with them I did the curry leaves so I'm going to fry them for some time and then add in the uh, curry powder the masala sambar powder and then add in the 
second milk extract. I'm going to add in the dry prawns first. So the dry prawns are very well uh, fried now. And I'm going to add in the, the fresh ones. Fresh ones are optional. It, I'm just doing it for myself. Because it, give, it will give you another more, more taste for this uh, recipe. So I'm adding the fresh ones. I'm going to fry them for some time. Now pouring in the sambar masala which I have added, made it a liquid. And I'm going to fry this together. I'm going to lower the flame. And I'm going to fry this. The kitchen is so full of aroma already. Already looking good. And then I'll be adding the coconut milk into this. So now I'm going to add in the second extract of the coconut milk. Now my, my uh, curry is boiling, so I'm going to add in the dry mangoes into this and I'm going to close the lid and cook it for some time. Adding in the little bit of the tamarind pulp, closing the lid and cooking it for about another 5 minutes. My five minutes are up and now I'm adding in the pure extract of the coconut juice. And I'm going to cook this for another five to eight minutes. I'm going to close the lid and cook it for another five to eight minutes. The curry is almost ready, just adding in a little salt. My samarachi kori is ready to serve. It's really looking awesome. Lot of flavors. It's really very tasty. So please try it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this recipe, please place in your comment below. Thank you for watching. And enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye.